What's up guys, it is WeMessy11 and today I have another episode of my Team of the Week predictions for this week and just want to start off, if you disagree with any of the players that I have chosen and you would replace them, make sure to comment below who and why because I don't want people just come in like just any player that haven't even done well this week. So we're going to start off with a Abadi who had 16 saves and kept a clean sheet in Milan's 0-0 away draw at Roma. And I believe that both teams were down to 10 men at the end of the game. Muntari got sent off for Milan and I think it was Toddy got sent off for Roma. So now on to the first of the defence. We have Andres Guidardo who got a goal and an assist. And I had a clean sheet in Valencia's 4-0 away win at Rayo Vallecano. He is ordinary a left mid, and this guy will be pretty good at left back with some amazing dribbling and pace. Oh, fuck. We skipped one there. Charlie Mulgrew, who scored a free kick and got an assist and a clean sheet in Celtic's 4-0 win versus St. Johnston. I also believe they did lift the SPL on Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, or Saturday, <laughs> whatever. So, uh, there we go. Arribas, who got a goal and a clean sheet in is that Os Osasuna's 1-0 win versus Getafe. Be a pretty decent in form, but he'll be discard price as there is the team of the season obviously coming out on Wednesday. Kevin Morales got a brace against the mighty West Ham United. He lost 2-0. Uh, so, I remember having his in form on FIFA 13, no, FIFA 12, yep, and it was unbelievable, like him and Mertens in the, the non-rare Lukaku in FIFA 12, for, that was amazing, front three. Frank Lampard, who got two goals in their 2-1 win at Aston Villa, and he also broke the record, so he's now Chelsea's all-time top goal scorer, so I think he's well deserved of an inform with, he's going to have Amazing long shots. 91 shooting, I think he will have. Wolf Zaha, who got a brace in Crystal Palace's win last, uh, yesterday evening. No. Yeah, yesterday evening against Leicester. Uh, managed to send aside to Wembley with those two goals. So he'll be pretty good in form. Ivan Perisic, who is just back from injury, I think. Who... Got two goals for Wolfsburg against his old club Borussia Dortmund in their 3-3 draw at the weekend. So, going to be pretty decent because he has most of the important stats over 80. Over 80. Uh, Wagner Love, who I believe got a goal. No, wait. Let me see. Two goals and an assist in CSKA's 4-1 win. Uh, so, I think he might be moving back to Brazil. I'm not sure in the summer. Uh, Vidad Ibazovic got uh, two goals for Stuttgart. And this will be a second in form. Two well taken goals, in fact. And, uh, like, you know, if you don't watch Bundesliga football, you should check out the Bundesliga highlight show, which is on a Monday evening at 9 pm GMT on ITV4, I think. I think it's ITV4. Daniel Sturridge, who got a hat-trick, and all of his goals were well taken. This guy has been playing bit well of late, as Suarez has been banned, so he's had to step up to the plate. And he's been performing well for Liverpool, so he got a hat-trick against Fulham in their 3-1 away win. Boom! Manuel Omunia. This guy saved... Uh, kept Watford's hopes alive of staying, of getting promoted to the Premier League as he saved a penalty in the 94th minute against Leicester and he this meant that they could go up the and then they managed to go up the other end and score and get a goal which would send them into the playoff final against Crystal Palace. We have uh, Davy Defoe who got two goals for, uh, God, I can't, I'm not going to pronounce that, in their 3-2 away win 
at KSC Lochran. They came from 2-0 down, so two goals for a right-back is pretty decent, especially when they were 2-0 down. As you may have saw earlier, uh, Carlos Quintero, who got a brace and an assist in Santos Laguna's win. He, is, he did play at a left wing, as far as I've checked, and he will be a pretty good in form. But if he was a striker, oh my god, he would just be amazing. We have Mustafa Yatabare, uh, who got a hat-trick, and he had one of his goals that he hit was deflected in, so he could have had four goals. In EA Gump's uh, 7-0 win versus Lens. Another guy who also could get an inform from this game. I doubt that these guys, both these guys will get an inform from that game. But one of them will, and I think it would be Yatabare. But Christoph Mandan got a hat. No, he got two goals and two or three assists in that match also. So he's going to be a pretty decent bronze French card as they're... Not many bronze French cards anyway. We have Brandemir Herlikota who got a hat-trick for Borussia Mönchengladbach in their 3-0 win versus Mans. He is only 20 and I do believe that was his first game in the Bundesliga. So And his goals weren't half bad too. One was a chipped penalty which is pretty... I think he's only 20, yep. So it was pretty composed of him. And then his other one was a tap-in. And the last one was a breakaway goal at the end. Where he chipped the keeper very well indeed. So now on to the final player. We have uh, Sabir Khalifa. Who also got two goals in two goals in uh, his side's 4-0 win versus Nice. Uh he could be a left mid, a right mid. Like I've heard, like he's played, he played different positions. So I don't know where he actually did start the match, but you should check out his goals. As one was an absolute beauty. It, he was inside his own half, and he just launched it, and it went right over the top of the nice keeper, and into the net. It. There are also players that could have gotten in form from this week. Uh, Sakarone, who got a hat trick and an assist. But he was in the team of the season, so I didn't think he would get another one so quickly after being in the most consistent team of the season. Another player that could have got one was Andre Ayew, who got a brace against uh, Toulouse, I believe it was. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe. Peace.